it's time for the little smudge on me. Little work EDC update video. I'm gonna show you guys. I just did this belt job. And uh, pretty interesting, these belts here. They always, they just love to break big holes in them. Got a little dirt on me, that's okay. Uh, so look, these belts here, <clears throat> they get these freaking holes in them. Just replace that and fix that. Now we're gonna do the tension on it and then turn it on. And then I'm gonna show you guys my EDC kit for work. My tool bag for work, actually. The one I like to use mostly. So let's do this tension and then we'll jump into that. So the way this tensioner works is a spring tensioner. The tension roller's in here. And that's gonna go, and you can see, it's gonna put tension on your belt. So that spring has to be fully compressed. You see, it gives you direction here. It also gives you a nice measurement. And you know, old school way, have to use measuring tape, but that's what we're gonna need that to look like. And it'll be even on both sides. And, and we'll be able to start it up and see how we did. Always wanna do a little bit on each side. You don't wanna go fully on one side because you can mess up how you're gonna have to track the belt with all the little trackers. So we'll do a little bit of, of both. All right, now the one thing you gotta keep in mind usually is when you start up, it's gonna stretch it. So you're probably gonna have to do a little bit more tweaking and tightening. And then also when the machine starts to run in a few days with cases going down it, I'll have to track it from side to side with, with the uh, trackers here. So that's something to keep in mind. And we got our armor start here, which is an electronic motor. All right, so we got it in off mode and then we can put it in hand. Moment of truth. So you guys all seen this bag. This is my Vito Pro Pack. And this is a beautiful, beautiful tool bag and I love it. But it's it's more for like bigger jobs like something that I'm doing here. Uh, it's not something I like to carry with me constantly all the time to go job to job. And I wanted to develop a way to have certain tools on me at all times. So I don't have to go back and look for something or, or do you know stuff like that so I finished up this job and instead of taking lunch I figured I would just uh, do a little EDC tool bag update for you guys now this little cross bag this is what I'll have on me at all times at work so no matter what I have a couple of things on me that I'll need during the day and I don't have to go look for nothing and this is everything a guy needs right here in this little tool bag so Beyond like the basic things that I have on my EDC, like my pocket knives, I have two on me right now because I'm doing a belt job. So I have just a cobalt razor knife. This one I like a lot. Uh, it's pretty pretty simple. Then I have my actual pocket knife, which is a Spyderco Para 2. I have a wallet, which is a which one is this? Pop off leather with the HCRD print. And then over here, I have my key bar, all right? That's gonna have my toolbox keys and, and different cabinet keys and stuff like that. 
I have a Sharpie in red, a Sharpie in black, AirPods, Apple AirPods, gotta have those. One, because they have noise cancellation, and two, music. And then my radio. Uh, card hat, only because I'm climbing in and out of this thing, and I can't tell you how many times I've whacked my head on this thing, and it's just hard hat. Uh, so, and then I just have my ID in the back. Now, a flashlight, I always carry the Olight Seeker 2 and carbon fiber print, or, you know, carbon fiber laser print, hard city on it. This is a beautiful, beautiful light. It's my favorite flashlight, and I always carry that right here. And then in this area here, I have another light. Right, so generally what I do with this light is my helmet light or my hat light. I always wear a hat at work. And that'll give me the way to have hands free. So that's why I carry two lights. I call the bigger light my search and destroy light. So if I'm trying to problem solve, look for an issue, this is what I'll use for that. And a uh, beautiful light for that. It gets super bright. You can see all the way across the freaking factory in this thing if you want to. And then my helmet light, obviously, for hands-free operations. I have a pen. This is a titanium big idea design pen. Uh, you know. And then my Leatherman. And this is the Leatherman Free P4. Can't you know, I can't tell you how many times I use this at work. Just if it's just grabbing a stupid bolt for these like little reflectors that are all over the place. They, they're all in there with these little tiny bolts. This just works good for that, just to have something on there. And then my belt is your Trayvac cinch. And then this is a, this carrier here that you're looking at is a uh, Tail of Knives custom leather holster. My watch is an Apple five series five and uh my mask is a mission mask and uh we have to wear a mask at work no one's around right here it's, no one's here i'm the only person in this area right now so if uh if i put the camera up everything's going to be completely pitch black and i'll show you actually how bright this o light can be so pretty awesome I'm on this big job and now I'm on my lunch, but usually we'll get big calls and, and I'm over on the verticue. I have to hop on my, my walkie rider, which is uh, over there. I'll show you guys that at the end of the video. Just a little stand on cart and it's loaded with all my tools and I can go around the plant to different calls in it. Now, when I take calls, I need to make sure I have tools on me at all times and that is where this thing comes in handy. And this is the VanQuest detergent. Everything a man needs is gonna be inside this little purse, man purse. So let's crack it open. First things first, my absolute favorite. If I could take one thing, just one toolkit to one job, I'm picking this every time. This is a Nipex kit. And it, what it does is it comes with just these two tools right here. These are the two tools that it comes with. All right, Cobra pliers, mini Cobra pliers, and this adjustable wrench. I upgraded it with wire cutters, also by Nipex. And then I upgraded it with a Klein Tools, kind of a little mini driver, bit driver. Uh, and I love this thing, it turns, good for small spaces, and it has a flathead and a Phillips, and uh, I love this thing. So this little tool kit right here is everything that a man needs and more i mean you can do a lot of damage with that little kit and this always stays in here next thing we have here is another nipex tool and you're going to see these a lot these are really good tools they're my favorite uh, and this is a nipex scissors and these are like really small for small wire stripping they are super razor sharp. I cut a Kevlar belt straight in half with this set with these. And they are just the bee's knees as far as scissors go. 
uh, for electrical shears, you can get really fine, fine, fine wires with that. I mean, they are just razor, razor sharp. I love them. They come with a little holster. And so these Nipex scissors gotta stay. They gotta be in the kit. Nipex needle nose pliers, pretty obvious one. Uh, I got these little like, medium long ones. Also have a little cutter on them, a little redundancy there. Uh, one thing that's pretty important, I always keep metric tape measure, Milwaukee. This is a cheap ratchet, this is a backup ratchet. I, and I just keep this little husky ratchet in there and there's gonna be a 15 mil because that's generally what all the bolts are that you see here, or a 15 mil. And a lot of times, I'll walk around with this thing too. Right now there's a three quarter because I'm doing the adjustment on the tensioner. And um, and that's why I also need my bigger tool kit because I have the bigger Nipex wrenches for that. So I have bigger jobs that I know I'm gonna need stuff, but so a lot of times I'll walk around with, with this, you know, on my belt or something because, you know, this is a badass tool right here. Uh, and this is DeWalt 20 Max V, um, the XL, the XR. And it's a badass tool. A Klein 6-in-1. Love this tri driver set. It's beautiful. Uh, I like it a lot. It's a little bit heavy, but it's a well-made tool. And, you know, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Hank. Always got to go with a Hank. Ronnie noses. Take care of that. Instead of having a bunch of Allen wrenches all over the place, I just use this one. And then I have another one here, which is gonna be your standard size. And then I have the main ones that I use for, that's that I know that are the sizes for the plant. It's good to start recognizing what are tools you use more than others and keep those on you. There's no reason to have a thousand Allen wrenches if you only use four of them. You know, so we only generally use about three sizes here. So mainly, you know, like a, a seven, 16ths or a 532nd here. There's a 1 8 here. Uh, a 764, I'm sorry, that's the other one. And then, you know, I have this one because uh, this is generally all the ones that I'll ever need for what I do. Testing electrical wires is so important to make sure you know when stuff's hot and when it's not. So I keep this little fluke tester here. This is not my bigger one that I have, I have nicer ones. But this is the one that just goes in the bag and it always gives me a way to be able to make sure that I'm not touching a hot wire. One thing that I don't keep in here all the time, but sometimes I do, but right now I keep them right here in this little side pocket. And that's my bigger Cobra pliers from uh, Nipex. And these bad boys right here are the absolute best. They're the best. There's nothing better than these. I have them in every size. I have the bigger one right here but I don't carry I don't carry these bigger ones on me all the time but these guys right here they fit in my EDC pouch if I need them to I can grab them right out of there perfect size and I absolutely love these these are like this is like my favorite tool right here because you I just use it for everything in this whole place so yeah Nipex made in Germany other than that, just in the back zipper part, back here, I just keep a handful of like band-aids and then I also keep a card with some duct tape on it. Some medical gloves, ear plugs are in here. And then in this front key here, here's another ear plugs 3M. And then in this front zipper pouch inside here, is where I keep like these guys here. I love these. These are Weeha, just little screwdrivers, uh, just for some more fine work and stuff like that. And then just inside here is where I have a bunch of different sockets that I know that I'm gonna use and a very specific Allen tool for the labelers adjustment. And then these are just specific sockets and ratchets that I know for, for sizes that I need. And uh, that's, pretty much how I roll there. Everything in this bag is very specific. Stuff that I know I use, I know I'm gonna need, 
It's not like something I'm not gonna use in there. There's not some random size in here that I'm never gonna use. It's all very specific stuff. And then in this pouch here, I just keep uh, my keys for certain safety doors and stuff like that, door access. A couple more Sharpies. There is some cool stuff in here. So a lighter, thick lighter. A couple of Sharpies, extra Sharpies are always good to have around. And then uh, my engineer's pen from Olight. I love this pen a lot. It's a bolt action. And uh, this is one of my favorite pens. I, I just love to play with it. And then a big idea design titanium pocket pen in black. So that is pretty much it. That's my uh, EDC kit for for work, guys. That's uh, that's how I roll as far as my tool goes. If you, if you could set something up like that where you work, you're going to be more efficient. You're going to be able to get stuff done quicker. You're going to have the tools you need when you need it, and you're going to impress the higher ups at your work because you're not going to be looking around for tools, and nobody wants the guy who doesn't know what tool to have or you know i didn't come to a call didn't bring his tools got to go back and get tools everything's time 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 fast 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 so be more efficient have the stuff you need start writing down like if you use a tool on a machine write that down like you know oh that's a three quarter so now i know i'm gonna always use a three quarter for the tensioners write that down in a little notebook you know i used to keep notebooks on me all the time when i started i have notes and notes and tons of notes on what tools I was using most, what size bolts were on what machine, so I knew. And then after a while, you start realizing that, wow, I only use about a handful of things. These two bags right here, I could take apart every single machine in this entire plant. More specific heavy duty or stuff, I may need to get specific tools. That's okay, I have the tools to do it. I have tons of tools everywhere, but this is a specific design thing for on call on the go so if you're a maintenance mechanic at a big huge plant like i work then uh it definitely will benefit you to look at something like this and, and i never thought about having a fanny pack or a crossbody pack as a tool bag and it just kind of dawned on me like it makes sense and it works very well so let's show you guys the cart real quick and then we'll wrap this up so this is my walkie tool kit you basically stand on this and you pull this down and it moves. So it's like a standing forklift type of deal. I have another box here. This is what I use for some tools. I have some more, some hammers and stuff I like to keep locked up so they don't go missing. Some more specific stuff in there. So that's another box I like to keep on here. This is just a bag where I keep my extension cords and my, my light, my big lights that are back there stuff like that goes in there one of the most important things on this cart that you guys are gonna see is right here and this is a full-blown trauma kit it's for everybody to use I leave it right on the cart so it's around um, I've been trying to stress about this place to get tourniquet around for everyone but this is my personal kit and uh, you know inside here opening that up just got some band-aids and you got your your orange tourniquet some wound packing stuff gloves and that's it okay guys so i hope you enjoyed the video like i have to get back to work so um yeah just wanted to do a quick tool update edc update for you guys i know you guys love watching these types of videos i like doing them but uh it is 6 45 so it only took me about 10 minutes to do this so not a big deal edit it later drop it for you guys Hope you enjoy the video. There's going to be a patron link below. I'm dropping a lot of patron videos. This video is probably going to be on patron first early access. So, um, yeah, I love you guys so much for all the support. Please consider being a patron member, uh, though, because, you know, that's how we're going to get this channel to the next level. Uh, but, yeah, if not, like, share, subscribe, share, 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 likes, turn the bell on, all that good stuff. I love you all. Have a great rest of your weekend. Peace.